All right, guys, back here on Southeastern 14 with Max Barr. We continue a look at the SEC basketball transfers this offseason, and we're doing a video on every single one of them. Missouri fans, you've already seen our video on Jacob Cruz, and now we make it to Tony Perkins. He's up oh, next yeah. as the Dennis Gates Revenge Tour, officially on here as uh, I've been sort of coining it for a while now, um, given the way last season went. But Max, he's building quite a roster, and we're going to talk about it before we do let me tell you about our friends at Bet Online, uh, your number one source for all your summer sports this season. MLB, golf, NBA, NHL. You can find all the latest stats, news, and scores available to follow your favorite teams, get the latest odds and lines, including team matchups, player props, and odds on just about every single sport out there. Head on over to Bet Online today or use uh, your mobile device to get in on the action. Bet Online, where the game starts. All right, Max. Tony Perkins comes over from Iowa. Um, someone who, again, we talk about experience. This guy has it. Played a lot of minutes past couple seasons there at Iowa. Uh, 31 minutes a game last year, 30 minutes a game the year before. 12.3 points, 22-23. 14 points per game, 23-24. Um, good rebounder, assist man. What's not to like about Tony Perkins? But yeah, I just said it before we started recording. I'm starting to fall in love with this Missouri team already. This As is unbelievable. Should. Just perfect. Per exactly what Missouri needed. You needed a you wanted a big body guard that can defend and fight over screens and run out and transition offensively and get to the free throw line. You got him. Um how I always like to start these videos though, Blake, who else was looking at Perkins? Who else wanted this guy? Well, a bunch of other SEC schools wanted him. Missouri beat out Ole Miss, Arkansas, and Oklahoma to get Perkins. But on a national scale, you had Kansas, UCLA, and Indiana who are also chasing Tony Perkins. So, Kansas. hot commodity. Boo. Get him out of here. Hot commodity. He's here. Mizzou. Ready to run it. Back-to-back uh, back, back, back years. Uh, honorable mention, all Big Ten. This past year, he got coaches, uh, coaches second team. But uh, for the media – Back-to-back -back honorable mention, all Big Ten, past two years. Um, got a few different numbers I want to dive into, but the one thing I want to start with, Blake, found this stat. Perkins is one of nine players nationally, okay, one of nine to score at least 475 points, grab 140 boards, dish out 150 assists, and steal the ball 50 or more times. One of nine players nationally, so kind of just your – your glue guy. I'm gonna do a little bit of everything. Not gonna, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. Tony Perkins here. What do you think, Blake? Yeah, I think like you said, you you look at his stats and you see there's a lot there. Like it's every single category, really. I guess other than yeah. maybe blocks. Although point four is better than point zero. So yeah. at least you know he's gonna block somewhere. So yeah, I mean, like we said, it's points, assists, rebounds, steals. Like, the guy does everything, and we mentioned, I think, the value of having a guy who's played four seasons at Iowa, didn't play much his first season, but 18 minutes even in the second season, then we talked about it, kind of goes up to that 30-minute mark the past two seasons. Um, and, and I think, you know, again, I mean, like, which is just repeating everything we say in all the other videos, but it's the value of, of the experience and especially the value of experience at the guard position. And I think that's one where... You know, you know you're losing some guys. You're losing Nick Honor, you know, off of that team, and so you need another older guard on this roster. Which we will do a full breakdown of Missouri's roster at some point in the next probably month or so. But man, this—I mean—the amount of talent on this roster now, when you consider that you've got multiple, you know, grad grad transfer guys now. We, we already talked about Jacob Cruz, um, and yeah, like this is one where I think you just. Look, we know last season for Missouri was not good. Like, it was just not the expectation. And, you know, I, I kind of joke about the revenge tour thing for Dennis Gates, but you can tell, like, there's clear difference in terms of how he's building this roster. Yes. And I think we're, like you said, you get someone like this who comes in, and it feels like you have a little bit more room for error now because he is someone who can help you in all of these different areas. Uh, and I think that's what's going to be interesting is just to see how all these guys, because this is a very deep roster, at least on paper, how all these guys sort of blend together. It's always about the chemistry, but I think about just how many big games he played in at Iowa, knowing you're playing in the Big Ten, 
Um, you know, you look back at some of the some of the better games he had, and you can kind of go through the stats and and see some of these just terrific performances. Um, and I think that's where this really stands out with him is he's played a lot of games over the past however many years now, right? Um, and I think he's another one, Max. I don't remember who we talked about. Maybe it was yesterday, but he's another guy that I think we may have talked about Chris Youngblood, but really since his first season, he's not missed many yeah. games. Like he's played yeah. a lot of games. And I think that again is important. We talk about the experience aspect, but he's someone who's been there. Like he's been a very consistent sort of rock that they could depend on at Iowa. And my guess is Dennis Gates will want him to be the exact same thing on this Missouri team, given that there are going to be a lot of younger guys joining this roster. And now they've kind of rebuilt things with some of these older guys like Perkins, like Cruz uh, and such, you know, to, to see how they can kind of evolve there. Yeah. And the reason why a guy like Tony Perkins is so valuable is he, he can be that, that true point guard for you. We saw his assist rate take a big leap from last year to this year and have that turnover rate stay low, but he can also play that com he's listed as a combo guard now so he can play that off ball also cutter slasher backdoor cutter and whatnot this past year he had five straight 20 point games so he can score if you're asking him to be a pure scorer he can score that's the first hawkeye to do that since keegan murray three years ago if you're not familiar with keegan murray we'll turn on the king's playoff game tonight it'll be starting so you can you get you're gonna get scoring in bunches from from Tony Perkins and one reason why is this guy likes to fly in transition um shout out to Matt Harris at Rock M Nation put out a great uh kind of overview of what Tony Perkins can bring to the table found this stat from 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 Matt Tony Perkins was second in the Big Ten in transition opportunities behind only Illinois Terrence Shannon Jr. so he, could, he likes to get out and run that's what Tony Perkins likes to do he grabs that defensive rebound at 6'4". He can he can board up. He's getting out and flying using his physicality. Um, so I really like that. And kind of to piggyback off of that, Blake, he likes to fly, likes to get out in transition. How many times this offseason, not this offseason, this past season, did we hear Dennis Gates talk in the postgame press conference about the free throws? Guys got to get to the line more. We got to get to the line more. I mean, I heard it like a broken record from from Gates this past season. Tony Perkins fouls drawn per 40 minutes, 4.7. OK, now I know the Big Ten and the SEC are slightly different styles of play. But just for comparison, Sean East was also 4.7 fouls drawn per 40 minutes. A few other guys on Mizzou, just to give you a, a kind of gauge. Tamar Bates and Noah Carter were at 3.9 and Nick Honor, who, you know, obviously a bit more of a perimeter guy, 2.9. Tony Perkins would have been tied with Sean East for for most for highest free throw rate on Mizzou last year. So you're going to get that, that attacking mindset, that downhill physical mindset that they didn't really have last year besides Sean East and maybe a little bit of Tamar Bates. You're going to get that now. That was the best thing they did offensively last year. I mean, their, their free throw percentage was what? They shot about 80%, something like that, 79%. From the line uh and that was probably their best chance because again we just did not see that offensive right sort of rhythm that we saw the year before but one of the reasons i think for that was that the year before we had talked a lot about turning defense into offense and mm. while they were still a team this year that forced turnovers they weren't top 10 the way they were the previous season and that made things a little bit easier for getting better shots i think and that obviously the percentages were higher now Different teams, of course, you know, Kobe Brown, Des Moines Hodge certainly helped that yeah. uh, on that team before last year. But I think that's where Perkins will really add that too, just from a, a standpoint of being able to force turnovers uh, and, again, kind of be just that versatile guy where he can force a turnover and then he can go down and he can either make a play, um, you know, an assist, or he can go, like you said, attack the basket and score off of that. And so, yeah, it, it seems like he fits really well into the way that, I would think Dennis Gates wants to sort of revamp things based on what worked for them two seasons ago, what didn't work for them last year. And now I feel like, and again, we'll have time to go through the entire roster, but I feel like this is more of that picking up someone like Tony Perkins. We talked about Cruz. These feel like the guys who are going to be able to turn that tempo up a little bit and again, get out and go 
whether that's offensively, whether that's forcing some things defensively to get more of those fast break transition opportunities, get to the free throw line, uh, you know, on those breakaway layup foul opportunities. Yeah, like he he feels like he fits that mold, just like we talked about with a with a Jacob Cruz. So, yeah, just one quick thing before we finish. This is a little. I'm going to read this off of Matt Harris's uh, Tony Perkins article on Rock M Nation. Um, right after he talks about how Perkins, um, you can't target him in the pick and roll because he'll get over and fight through it and recover defensively. Uh, Matt says his physicality translates in other ways too. Ratchets up pressure on entry passes, sturdy enough to hold his ground if he gets switched on to a big man, can guard one through four, closes out under control on closeouts, just all those things you want from like an experienced physical defender. Uh, Tony's going to bring that here this year. Yeah, curious to see through the, the three-point shooting. You know, not really someone who's had to really rely on that. Yeah. Like you said, more of a guy who's going to get to the basket. But I am curious to see. You never know, like, right, how a guy can evolve year-to-year three-point-wise. I know the percentages went down a little bit last year, but he shot more threes each season. He's um, capable. So I'm curious. Yeah, that's what I'm curious if they can kind of develop that a little bit more too. Get get a few more of those uh, maybe out of them just to add that, that extra – threat uh, as well but hey there, there's a lot of options on this yeah. uh this missouri team as we'll talk about moving forward this offseason uh but yeah this is a a pretty full and loaded roster as of right now and uh we'll find out uh, how things go for the dennis gates revenge tour uh, which is officially on i think oh, heading yeah. into 24 yeah. 25 but we'll have you covered here at southeastern 14 hit that subscribe button hit the like button on your way out uh and again check out our jacob cruz video if you haven't seen that yet missouri fans Give that one a look. Uh, we are break, yeah, we are we are breaking down every single transfer in SEC basketball this off season. So uh, other fan bases out there looking at you, Arkansas and Kentucky, we got a lot of those coming for you because you got to rebuild your entire roster. Uh, Missouri, mm, not so much. They've pretty much got it built now. So uh, yeah, we'll talk a lot about it. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys watching as always, and we'll talk to you again here soon at Southeastern 14.